Hey guys, Jay Sini here and welcome to another episode on the Australian Wealth Channel. And in this episode, we're going to be talking about why the stock market is booming right now. Okay, so what we've seen very recently is the NASDAQ and a lot of the other indexes have risen dramatically. Uh, company stock prices have gone up a lot in the last few days. Um, so in this video, we're gonna be talking about why that is. So before we get started, please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It helps get these videos out to more people so they can hear about these topics. So a lot of people have been wondering, you know, there's a lot of uncertainty right now with the US election, for example. You know, it's a very close race and, and you know, it's really tough to predict how these things are going to come out. And we're often told that uncertainty is the thing that scares a lot of investors. You know, it's uncertainty that gets people to pull their money out of the market. So with all this uncertainty, why is it that the stock market is going up quite dramatically? Now, I think there's a number of reasons for this, and there's, there's probably two, which I think are the biggest ones. Now, we're gonna delve into this, and we're gonna be looking at this purely from a financial perspective if you're looking to make money from the stock market. Doesn't matter who's in power, whether it's the Dems or the Republicans at all. We're looking at this from a money perspective. So, everyone is focused on the presidential election, but under the surface, there's a lot more interesting occurrences. So what we're seeing is, it's, is that it's very likely that the Republicans will continue to hold the Senate. And what we see in the House is that the Democrats will likely continue to control that. So either way, if Trump wins or Biden wins, what we're going to see is a divided government. Now what that means is that it's not three um, of the same party that's controlling each section of government. What we are seeing is that it is divided. The Republicans control the Senate, the Dems control the House, maybe the presidency, or the Republicans might control the presidency too. So with this split, what we're gonna see is gridlock. Now you might think, well why is gridlock something that is good? Well you see, the thing is, if Congress can't do anything, if they're just too busy at one another, then what that means is that companies are going to be allowed to continue as, uh, as usual. It'll be business as usual. And this is a really good thing, especially for big tech, which has seen uh, a lot of rises in the last few days. You know, we saw Google go up, I think 6%, Facebook up 8%. And you might be thinking why. Now, the reason behind this is there's currently a lot of scrutiny going on with these big companies and antitrust. You know, are they getting so big and are they kind of pushing all of the competition out of the market so they can't compete because they have become um, monopolistic? And, you know, there's been some chatter here and there about breaking these companies up. I don't think it's gonna happen, um, but you know, there's, there has been that possibility thrown around because they're becoming so big and so powerful. But you see, the thing is, with a divided government the way it is, it's going to be really hard to get that legislation through to break them up. I mean, have a look at Congress right now. They can barely get a stimulus bill that they both want out to the general population and out to America. And they can't even barely do that. So how do you think they're gonna go when they wanna start trying to legislate breaking up some of these big tech companies? I can guarantee for the next few years, this is not going to happen. And for most investors in these big companies, this is a real concern. This is something that could completely decimate their investments as people will just sell out of all of those companies. So with this in place and with the divided government, Government, what we're gonna see is big tech is going to pretty much be allowed to continue on as normal, which can only mean great results and great returns because it's pretty much guaranteed that these companies are going to continue to grow in the future. So I think that's one very important reason. Now the second reason is that the Fed has come out and they've said that they are going to backstop the entire universe. <laughs> of course, uh, that's a joke, but they have said that they're pretty much committed to do whatever they need to do to make sure that America gets out of this current situation uh, very well. So the Fed has basically said that they're gonna do pretty much everything in their power to make sure that America comes out of this uh, unscathed and things get back on track as good as they possibly can. So what this does is it signals confidence. 
And what investors want when they're looking at buying into companies is confidence. So what we've seen um, in, in this year in particular is how important the Federal Reserve is to the market. Um, when, when we had all the lockdowns and the shutdowns, we saw that the stock market sold off really hard. And the Fed came out and when the Fed said that they were going to backstop and do whatever they needed to do to make sure that America was going to get through this, that's when stocks began to rise. They started going up and up and up and they've continued to go up since because the Fed is not just going to leave, leave the market and say, hey, do, do whatever you want. That would create a situation where people would be selling out, but they're prepared to pump so much money in the system to avoid any kind of negative effects happening. So I think this is the second reason why the stock market is absolutely booming. So if you combine these two things, gridlock, things are gonna be happening as normal for companies in the future. And on top of that, you have the Fed willing to do whatever it takes to make sure that the market and make sure the economy gets back on track, then that is incredibly powerful. And when you couple that with actually a lot of these big companies actually doing really well through this pandemic, then it's easy to see why there's so much confidence in these companies. Like have a look at the earning res results of Google, Facebook, Amazon, Apple. They're just booming. They're, there's not like there's a pandemic even here. So it's these three key points that I think that are really helping to prop up the market. So I'd be really keen to hear about what you think is making this market just absolutely boom in the last week. I'd be really keen to hear your thoughts in the comments. So please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. It helps to get these videos out to more people. So my name is Jay Sini. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you later.